Hello Minecraftians, uh, this is episode one of my crash landing tutorial series. For single player, this is attempt number 12. I did record attempt number 11, but I didn't quite get as much done as I wanted to on the first day. So as the sign says, you type slash hqm quest first to enable the questing. And then the first quest is to pick up two fluid transposers. Oh, what do you know? Two fluid transposers. And there is a wrench right here. There we go. That'll be that quest done. That gets us some cold water and some water bottles. To start off, I'm going to fill up my camel pack with water bottles but I will not be using it immediately. I'm going to use the cold water first because it's got no other purpose other than like you can't let me explain. You can't do much with it except either turn it into a regular water bottle which would be a waste or you can just drink it straight from the bottle. You can't add it to the camel pack. And water bottles reduce your hydration or increase your hydration by 25% either the water bottle or the cold water bottle. The cold water bottle will additionally uh, decrease your temperature by 0.1 instead of 0.05 from the regular water bottles. So for starters you're going to want to collect some sand. I always collect it from around here so then I can see out the window at the back of the spaceship. The premise of this pack is that you have crashed. You were just a scrub on a spaceship and you've crashed <laughs> on this desolate, extremely hot planet. And you need to survive. Later on you might need to also escape, but that's not in the pack yet. I like to cover up the top though, just so uh, fire doesn't spawn there, because that was liquid blazing, blazing pyrothium. Ah, words, words and things. Standing near it will increase your temperature. Holding a bucket of blazing pyrothium or lava will increase your temperature significantly. So you don't want to be doing that too much. If your temperature goes above 39 degrees, then you will start uh, getting heat stroke. Next, you're going to want to check these chests. Put that there and this guy over here. The next quest in this chain is to get some bone meal and a water bottle. So I just need the bone meal because I have the water bottle and dust on me. Oh, and first time. Perfect. That gets you two water bottles of dirt and four bone meals. The next one is to create dirty water bottles. You do that with combining dirt and an empty glass bottle. I'm going to do that now because I know the quest reward gives me back the dirt. So I'll do that. And the next one is to turn dirty water. This It just explains how to turn dirty water into pure water, which you do just by smelting it. So I get a cold water and four glass bottles from that, which is cool. Oh, and I'm below 75% hydration, so it's time to drink a cold water bottle. Um, next, you're going to want to choose either the easy path or the hard path to get your first sapling. I highly recommend the easy path because you get the shell constructor, which gives you an extra life because this is one of those hardcore packs where you die once, you have to start over. Luckily the pack is smart enough that you can just create a new world and it'll generate it exactly the same every time. But I'm wasting time and that's what killed me last, last playthrough. So we're going to choose the easy path. Yeah, we're choosing the easy path. Once I get better at the game, I might do the hard path. And I'm doing oak saplings because they have a chance to give you um, 
what are they called? Apples. Yes, that's it. So you want that as early as possible. And for the first day, I'm just going to make one crook. Last time I made two, and then I ended up being short <laughs> on the wood. You want to have enough wood to make all of the Tinker's Construct stuff and two uh, stencils so that you can make yourself a mattock overnight. And your first material for the mattock is going to be bone meal. Bone meal or bones will work in place of bones, but bone meal is more efficient. Instead of costing a whole bone, it ends up costing you two-thirds of a bone if you go the bone meal route. So, let's punch this tree. For this series, I'm not going to be doing any cuts, but this is just going to be the first three or four days. How to survive, how to get set up with enough water that you can keep that you don't die and enough food that you don't die and from there it'll be up to you guys to figure out how to continue on so uh, I think we'll do one more tree just for the sake of it Oop. you don't put salt on saplings that's crazy uh, the monsters at night here are extremely dangerous extremely dangerous they're uh, I don't know. They're just nuts. <laughs> it's kind of like the Nether in Agrarian Skies, but not not quite as bad because there's no Hellfish. Nope. Out of Crook. Build new Crook. Oh, and I'm on fire. Well, not on fire. Heat stroke. I should be. No, I don't want to risk it. I had my camel pack. The camel pack you fill up with regular water, not cold water, but each time you drink from it, uh, you get cooled off by 0.1 degrees, which is very helpful. And much more cooling than even cold water. You cannot put cold water bottles into the camel pack, as a note, unless you smelt it into regular water first. So that's a bit weird. It'd be kind of nice if the cold water did like a whole degree of cooling. Because you only get like three of them at the start. And the temperature range that you want to be in is between... Uh, you want to be over 34 and under 39. Oh, there we go. That's cool enough. And next. Do I have enough time? No. I'm just gonna, like, do I have enough time to make a bone shovel? No. No, I do not. I'm just gonna dig with this sapling. Sapling's as good as a shovel, right? In uh, previous versions of this pack, you would need four high walls so that because there were giant zombies which could throw smaller mobs but they've removed that or Iskandar has removed that so you don't need quite as high walls anymore I'm putting this here so that spiders won't instantly fall on my head they will have to climb up the side And then uh, that'll give me some time to get out of here. Because the worst thing is just having a spider drop on your head and punch you into, into a creeper or something. That's just the worst. Worst feeling in the world. So as you can probably tell, I'm kind of speeding through things because the first few days are critical. I found like you can't lollygag, you can't just go AFK, you'll you'll die. And then you'll have to start over. Did 
it. You're going to want a bunch of dust at the start. I'm not going to build a wall today, partly because there's no time, and partly because I want to get set up with other things first. And I'm heading in early. Let's get this stuff set up. Uh, I think that's enough. Yep. Five templates. We need one on here. We need one on a regular plank. Oops. Extensive table. I'm going to make that one small. And we need a tool station. And I might build the other one if I have the time because I do have the resources. And the first tool I'm going for is a Matic because it deals six damage. You can see the materials are include stone, but stone is only useful like in agrarian skies for uh, the casting casting table to get the uh, casts for it. And that, and I'm gonna want another one actually. Minor inconvenience is that the uh, the Matic doesn't uh, count as a shovel on dust. It only counts as a shovel on vanilla dirt. Yep. So that's a bit of a downside. Matic, I'm not going to name it, and then shovel, I'm not going to name it. No imagination, just Matic and Shuffle. And then... Oh, my sound is at 10%. Hopefully the monsters are not too loud for you. If they are, I will reduce it for next time. And while I have the time, I'm going to make myself a clone. Right click on the shell constructor. When it's feet getting power. So you give it your DNA, take one heart of damage, and then it starts building your clone. It's real cool. And then I'm gonna get this stuff. All this jerky. You can see that the Spice of Life mod is installed. That's those uh, yellow outlines around the lamb chops on the right there. That is the saturation. That is uh, kind of like extra lamb chops, kind of. Weird. Okay, there it goes. Uh, I'm doing this next quest a bit cheatily. It says to uh, melt 10 saplings in a, a fluid transposer, but I'm going to do it with a single water bottle. I am actually going to turn these sounds up down to 3%. There we go. I can still hear them. You guys probably can't. And it takes 1500 RF to do this. 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, I put an extra. Oh, wow. And that'll output directly into the QDS. When it finishes, yep, yeah, there we go. That gets us two water bottles, so we gave in one to get two. Now, back to some sieving. That's what we're gonna do. Water bottle, water bottle, cold water bottle, regular water bottle. Oh, and we're gonna get our weapon out. I'll put this here, that there. Steelworks, I'll put there. I'm uh, probably not going to go in depth into the mods in this series because it's just about surviving. It's not really about explaining. Uh, that silkworm will come in handy later on. 
and make sure we have one sapling. I don't need that crest hammer anymore. Now we sieve. And you can see on the mini-map there, there are lots of mobs around me. Looks like there's even some fire creepers. Uh, an armor creeper. That might be a thief skeleton. Some crazy endermen in a corner. Oh man. So yeah, you're just sieving, mainly for the sake of sieving. I want to get a second dust, or salt I mean, so that I can start going, get going on the next quest. Does that sentence make sense? Start, get going? No. No it does not. Start going. Start or get, and then going. That makes sense. There we go. Two. Next I need to get Rotten Flesh, which is I'm going to be waiting until morning for. There's an Armor Creeper. Those are extra tough. Uh, there might still be giant mobs in here, but I think that Iskandar has disabled the throwing of them. The advanced AI, I guess, would be. The Creepers with red faces and faces on all sides explode into smaller creepers. Um, the creepers with yellow eyes will drop torches when you kill them, which is kind of useful. Um, there's not really much I need right now. I'm gonna move this guy. Which you do just by right clicking with your wrench. I'll put it there. Put this guff away. You are going to want um, a slab furnace as soon as you can, just like in Agrarian's guys. But for this, you'll be using it to turn dirt into uh, into water, which is oh man, I am really dehydrated. Did not even realize. Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> Just noticed my my bar there. Yep. Oh, uh, what was I saying? Yes, uh, a slab furnace is for smelting dirty water into regular water which is useful early game. Later on, I think the better strategy is to just put leaves into a uh, crucible and then have them slowly melt into water rather than getting oak barrels and then adding uh, glass, empty glass bottles to it. Not fully certain what I just tried to say. But actually, this is getting pretty close to the end of this episode. I found that if I don't have these tools by the end of the first night, I might as well start over. Because surviving, exiting the spacecraft that first morning is extremely difficult. There's the first sunrise, so we're going to call it here. Stay tuned for next episode when I fight all these monsters. <laughs> Cheers.